Japan has renewed its false territorial claims to Korea's easternmost Tokdo Island in its diplomatic paper, sparking a strong backlash from Seoul. The report also reiterated that it would not accept South Korea's ruling, ordering Japanese firms to compensate Korean victims of Japan's wartime forced labor. Choi Min Jung reports. Japan has yet again made territorial claims over Tokdo Island in its annual foreign policy report. In its 2024 diplomatic blue book released on Tuesday, Tokyo renewed its false claim that Tokdo is Japanese territory and stated that Seoul continued its illegal occupation of Tokdo. It's a claim that has been repeatedly made in Japan's diplomatic blue book since 2018. South Korea responded with a strong protest against what it called Japan's repeated unfair territorial claims. The foreign ministry called for an immediate withdrawal of the claim. There is no territorial dispute over Dokto as it is clearly our territory historically, geographically, and under international law. Our government exercises firm territorial sovereignty over Dokto, and we will respond firmly and strictly to any unjust claims regarding Dokto. The ministry also summoned the deputy chief of mission at the Japanese embassy in Seoul. The Blue Book also disputed a South Korean Supreme Court ruling which ordered Japanese firms to compensate South Korean victims of wartime forced labor during Japan's colonial rule. Despite repeated requests over the years, Japan has refused to make reparations to individuals, insisting all matters were settled under the 1965 treaty that normalized bilateral ties. In an attempt to mend relations with Japan, Seoul last year implemented plans to settle the issue of compensation through funds procured through a third party. We hope Japan will continue to make efforts to develop a future-oriented bilateral relationship while inheriting the historical awareness of Japan's past cabinets. Our government will continue to make efforts to help victims recover through the compensation plan. Meanwhile, the Blue Book describes South Korea as an important neighboring country that Japan should cooperate with as a partner. This reflects a significant improvement in bilateral ties since President Yoon Song yeol took office in 2022, as Tokyo last called Seoul a partner 14 years ago. Choi Min-dong, Arirang News.